Welcome to this Wood Solutions presentation on different types of wood. Here we're going to look at the differences between the different types of wood that we'll find in a log, across a log, from the sapwood to the heartwood to the pith. Trees are living organisms that grow in response to their genetic characteristics, the local environmental conditions and their age. To help it grow and survive, the tree produces different types of wood in its stem. These have varied roles in the tree and distinct properties. To grow in height and diameter, the tree forms new cells in special growth layers. These occur at the growing tips of the tree and on the perimeter of the stem immediately under the bark. So the stem of the tree grows from the outside this means that the oldest wood is in the centre of the tree, while the youngest wood is on the outside. And the diameter of the tree is then largest at the base. The pith, or the heart, is found near the centre of the log. It's made up of soft, spongy tissue that's originally from the a sapling of the tree or the original growing tip as it went through. Generally, its quality is much lower than mature wood that we'll find further out in the stem. The heartwood is older cells in the stem whose main role is to support the tree. The tree fills these older heartwood cells with chemical compounds called extractives, and these improve the wood's strength, durability, and other characteristics. Many of the best wood products that we use come from the heartwood. The sapwood is the most recently formed wood on the outside of the stem. Made up of living and open cells, the sapwood's role is to transport water and nutrients from the roots and the leaves. As these cells contain starches but lack the protection provided by extractives, sapwood is often attractive to insects and fungi and is always classed as low durability when it is included in wood products. The amount of sapwood in the stem varies with the age of the tree. Young, vigorously growing trees may have a broad sapwood band to transport the water and nutrients they need to grow. As new wood forms each year, some of the inner sapwood isn't needed for this water transfer. These inner cells then can fill up with extractives and are converted into heartwood. So the boundary between sapwood and heartwood in the stem moves slowly outward as the tree gets older. In older, more mature trees, the sapwood band can be quite narrow. Heartwood can often be a different colour to sapwood. This is due to the extractives that fill the heartwood cells. Hardwoods have a wider range of heartwood coloration than softwoods. As you can see from these examples, the sapwood in hardwood is distinctly lighter in colour than the surrounding hardwood. In some woods, hardwood and sapwood show no colour differences and it's very hard to tell the two apart. In summary, the wood across the trunk of the tree differs in its function in the tree and its properties. From the centre of the tree, the zones of wood that we find are the pith or heart in the centre. This is followed by the heartwood. Then we have the sapwood. We have then the growth layer, which is called the cambium. And finally, we have the bark, and that's on the outside of the stem that we can all see. These variations in the wood can be critical to the production and the use of timber and timber products for buildings.